on this week's episode of the No Order Podcast. Oh, the original classic red box? Yeah, no berries, just, uh, just Captain Crunch. Oh, I go with the, uh, what about the peanut butter is fire, too? Uh, I don't really like the peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter is for suckers. Watch out. I'm going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Y'all both off the, <laughs> y'all both off the podcast. I'm hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make your list? Which one of these is your favorite? Dead or alive? Take your pick. It's your choice. Just don't boot lick. Tell us what you want in your top five. And we got to know the reason. Let's take a deep dive. If you're the same as mine, I'll be your number one supporter. Now relax and enjoy the podcast. It's no order. Yo, what's going on, party people? Welcome to the No Order Podcast. This is brought to you by Sourdough Bear and the True Hogs Club. We go over the top five DOA rankings, dead or alive, in no order. Covering any topic from foods to fighters, munchies to music, cereal tops to celebrity titties. The No Order Podcast can be found on Spotify, Amazon Music, and anywhere you stream your podcast. That's K N O W. Order podcast at gmail.com. If you want to reach us, have any questions, or just want to get onto the podcast yourself, we are taking any submissions for ideas as well. Thanks so much for tuning in to the No Order podcast. We got Bear on the line and we got a special guest for you all here today. What's going on, Bear? How you feeling? What's happening, Doe? Oh, you know, just chilling today, you know, getting getting ready to hear this uh, top five list. You know, it's about cereal. So, you know, that's one of my favorites right there growing up. So I got to hear my man's, uh, you know, list coming up. Uh, we got my bro Red online with his top cereals. Uh, so I'm sure this will be a well-debated one. As, uh, also, um, everyone's going to have their own favorite cereals. Uh, but we got my brother Red on the line here, and uh, we're going to bring him in here now to see his top five Dead or Alive cereals of all time. Um, I know I'm looking forward to hearing this one. Uh, I, I know you are as well, Bear. Yes, yes, definitely. Hey, Red, you on the line with us? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, fellas? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? I came to get my top five list on my favorite cereals that I've loved as a kid and even growing up and until, until today. I still love eating cereal. I could eat cereal breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, <laughs> Yeah, I know we've uh, both done that. All, all three of us have <laughs> done that in the past. Probably tore up a whole box in, in my uh, time. We want to thank you for coming on to the No Order podcast. Uh, we really appreciate you coming on today. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So let's start off with uh, your top five. Uh, what's your number five ranking in? All right. Yeah, so I'm going to start with number five. Uh, I'm going to go with Fruit Loop. Yeah, so shout out to my guys who can't stand. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Classic right there. Classic yeah, Fruit Loops. With the fruity loops. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's a sugary four, one. Uh, <laughs> I know it's uh, yeah, a ton of sugar five. in that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't lie. My, my list probably contains of uh, all sugar cereal. So. <laughs> oh, man. If it don't got sugar, it ain't cereal, right? Yeah, it ain't going to get you <laughs> yeah. going to the day or uh, midday or whatever. <laughs> You're waking up from uh, maybe that hangover or something. Uh, definitely Fruit Loops <laughs> is a, one of those uh, stoner cereals for sure. <laughs> What you got at number four for us, Red? Number four, I'm going to go with uh, my one of my top ones is uh, Honey Bunches of Oats. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. A little, a little help on the healthier tip, but not not so healthy, but a little healthier. <laughs> I thought that one was a healthy one, but yeah, those uh, bunches, I mean, you can't get enough of those in the cereal. And then I love that little uh, yeah, that, bit at the end of the bag. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it does its job for sure. I was going to say, the, I, I do prefer the honey roasted over the almonds, of course, but teach his own on that one. You mess with that okay, one, Bear? What do you think? You, pick, you got to pick your specific one. They got, like, at least five different choices. So, yeah, you know, everybody's going to pick, you know, to which his own on that one. But that's a good, that's a good, solid solid pick right there. The honey bunches of votes, you definitely can't go wrong with that one. I think I get the... A giant two pack with the two bags in one box from Costco. Yeah, that's a good deal over there. All right, Red, what do you got for our uh, number three on the list? 
At number three, I got Frosted Flakes coming your way at number three. Frosted oh, Flakes, yeah, Frosted huh? Flakes. I did not expect that one. Oh, Tony the Tiger, man. You can't leave Tony yeah, out of the picture. Can't leave Tony out. Okay, I now, mean, I guess that's a yeah, yeah. Um, just kind of thought that might have been a basic one for me. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me hear your reasoning, though. I know we all want to hear it. Well, I mean, Frosted Flakes is on the list, but basic for me would be Corn Flakes. But you have to add the sugar and the and the bananas to to make it hit. Yes, yeah, you know, that's a uh, like right there. Ah, uh, I see. But I, I, I see. think if you do the. I think if you do the cornflakes with the sugar and the banana, that's its own little recipe right there. It's true. It so, doesn't match. It doesn't match with Tony the Tiger because you know it, it. It really is a different flavor. The frosting is right a little hand. bit like, different, I, right? The the frosted yeah, part of like, it isn't specifically the sugar. You 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 took your cornflakes from a zero to a hundred real quick when you add the sugar <laughs> and the banana. <laughs> And you could be, and you could manage how much sugar you put in it, and how many bananas you put in it, so it all would work out. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. That yeah. sounds uh, like a good one there. Um, I, I know maybe some other people might have some uh, other cereals that they would put ahead of there, but this is your list, not theirs. If you do want to let us know what you're thinking out there on the No Order podcast, send us a message, or you can respond to any of the polls that are up on our Spotify playlist there. So you can give your top five on the Spotify playlist. Let us know by sending us a message also at K N O W order podcast at gmail.com. All right, red, we're moving right along here. This is a good list so far. What do you got for your number two top cereal? Before we, before we go on, can I ask you guys a question? Oh, for sure. Shoot. What you got? Have you guys ever got the biggest bowl in the cabinet that you could find and just pour the cereal in the biggest bowl and try to find the biggest spoon and just, just have at it? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We, we, I think we've all done the Friday experience where you get the big bowl and then, you 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 know, you get the biggest spoon and you just so – I, I, I can say for myself, I've poured a whole box in one time, <laughs> but I was high as a kite, so – well, you're not alone. Yeah. You're not alone on that, Barry. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> Had to throw in the laugh track for that one. I think that's every kid's uh, biggest dream there, you know? Uh, I think that uh, every kid is going to want to just get the their like mom's serving spoon or something out of the bowl, pour the whole uh, thing in and then see as much milk as they can fit in there. That's another one there. Uh, do you um, have like a lot of milk in the bowl or just a little bit just to cover? Uh, what do you do? What do you do there, Red? Uh, I, li- I like a lot of milk in my cereal just for the simple fact that all the, the, the tastiness and the sugar. So after you finish the bowl, you have enough, enough of that milk to be able to quench your, quench your thirst a little bit. After you have a big bowl of cereal, yeah. You know, now my my question, real quick, I gotta hear: Do you pour your cereal first, or do you pour your oh. milk first? <laughs> oh, you gotta pour the cereal first. You gotta okay, pour the okay. cereal. I was gonna say, you know, some people, yeah, some you people got to pour, pour the, the milk cereal first. first. So yeah. you know what I mean. I ain't saying they weirdos. I'm just saying it's a different technique. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, if you're uh, <laughs> pouring the. Uh, Milk before, uh, I got the sad trombone for you right there. You know, yeah. I don't know about all that. <laughs> that just that just hit different. That felt like I put my right my right shoe on my left foot and vice versa. Right, you're putting it on backwards. You're just doing it backwards there, I think. Uh, and you get that uh, great flavor out the bottom of the bowl. If you got that right cereal, it really turns that milk into a whole different experience. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, so we're on to... The number two top five out of the top five cereals here, number two on the No Order podcast with Red. So, yeah, number two, I got to come with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Classic, baby. Ooh, classic. I have not had there Cinnamon you know, Toast Crunch in a, quite a long time. That sounds amazing right now. They, they just added, like, a variety where you could do the churro Cinnamon Toast Crunch now. <laughs> I might have to try churro. that. Oh, you haven't tried yeah. that one yet, Red. Okay, well... um, Definitely going to have to try that one uh, there, Bear. Most definitely. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it, it really is. It, it's a little bit different, but it, it still is as good as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
I think it might yeah, might even helps. is it not better? Is it not better? I I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking like you know cinnamon can be a little wow. overpowering in in certain things. Don't get me wrong, I love cinnamon rolls, cinnamon buns, things like that. Pretty much all things cinnamon's okay with me. But with the no, churro, it sounds like it really might be a little more sugary. No, no, it's it's actually you know about the same as cinnamon toast crunch. So they but did it, it right. It, it is a little bit of a di- it, it is a little bit different flavor though. So. Mm. You know, if you're used to that cinnamon toast crunch flavor, you will get something a little bit different with the churros. I see. We all got to try something new every now and then, you know, but uh, that sounds like the ultimate cereal eating experience. I might have to head to the store after this to go grab a box of those. Oh, yeah, definitely try those. Uh, Let's hear your top one, though. I got to, you know, you already came out with some solid picks. I got to hear the number one now. Number one, probably been my favorite since I was a young kid. Uh, I just love something about just the original Fruity Pebbles. It's just like... Just something that about the something about it that just I just needed in my life. Yeah, but dabba do. That's my number one as well, you know. So it must must be something with Fruity us pebbles, growing up, yep. you know. Fruity pebbles, uh get a little bit soggy, but you gotta eat it before it's too soggy. There's that perfect time and and the milk uh flavor at the end is uh just divine, you know. Gotta give it that that chef's kiss, that ah yeah, pièce de résistance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and are you talking about the fruity pebbles? original classic red box or are you talking about the chocolate no i'm talking about the red box the chocolate is uh but the red box that'll do yeah the red box is definitely you know i feel is better than the chocolate box but you know some people do like the chocolate box yeah i'm I'm, i don't hate on people that are um gonna go with the cocoa pebbles um but yeah i think it's the classic fruity pebbles for me um definitely uh really really solid top five cereals list we want to thank you for coming on with the no order podcast here with us red uh we got sourdough and bear with you here and uh we want to say thank you again for coming on the no order podcast uh you got anything else you want to mention uh any other honorable honorable mentions maybe that you might have thought of or anything that you want to add here red oh yeah well if i could do a top 50 list that would be great but uh... <laughs> Yeah, cereal's got to be my favorite, my favorite little go-to if I'm a little hungry or if I got the munchies one day. But uh, yeah, don't oh, don't let me leave out the Captain Crunch. Um, no berries, no berries, but Captain Crunch, the Red Box. The no berries. Well. What you think about the no berries? Just the classic Captain that, Crunch. That, that's like you know what I mean. I know you was an '80s baby then. If you like in the no berries, <laughs> for sure. Nowadays they got all berries. And kids Oops. seeing that up, you know what I mean? Nowadays, they got all marshmallows and uh, Frosted Flakes. They got marshmallows and Fruit Loops. Don't forget the peanut butter, they Captain eat. Crunch there, Bear. Oh, I don't I don't know anybody that eating the peanut butter. I think they discontinued that. <laughs> hater, so hater. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you if know, you I like the peanut butter, just let us know. <laughs> hey, I think one person liked it. I think it was just you, though. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are hey no found out what good I, i'm sure y'all uh there's people out there that do like it i mean i'm sure i'm not the only one peanut butter's fire i love uh pretty much anything peanut butter peanut butter cookies peanut butter True. and True. jelly sandwiches i can't uh say that nobody likes the all peanut butter uh captain crunch y'all just haters i, I see how it is True, true. Well, we want to thank you again for coming on the podcast and the No Order podcast, having you on today. And we'll definitely have to do it again. It sounds like uh, we might have to get you in for uh, stoner snacks or something like that. It sounds like that might be uh, uh, something right up your alley. I might have to hear your top five strains. Uh, that would be a top five strain. Top five yeah, strains. That would be a okay. Good one. Okay. We'll get you on for the top five strains. Uh, we might have it here sooner rather than later. For sure. For sure. All right, bro. Uh, we appreciate you coming on. That's Red with his top five cereals on the No Order podcast with Bear and Doe. Uh, we will be streaming here as much as we can. Feel free to drop us a line once again at No Order Podcast at gmail.com. We're signing out. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. All right. Y'all be smooth.